Hey folks, Bridges here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to, to put the ring up underneath you of your, um, your ring charm or whatever it is that's going to go on top of your ring. All right, the way to do that, it's really pretty easy. Um, there's probably a lot of ways to create that ring to come off of there, uh, but the way that I'm going to show you, we're going to use the revolve feature and the, our revolution is going to intersect with uh, our solid body that we already have in place. All right, so so in order to do that, we're going to use something called some construction planes. Now, we should be familiar with planes if you go over here and look in the origin. Okay, I've got origin turned off right now, but do you remember those three little golden planes from the very beginning of the front, the top, and the side? Okay, I can turn those back on and off over here in my browser bar. Okay, by default, they're off if you are um, not currently creating a new sketch. So... I'm going to turn my bodies back on. Okay. I like those planes there, but maybe I don't want the planes to be at that particular place in space. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a plane that may be parallel to one of those planes. Um, or maybe it's just parallel to one of my work surfaces. Excuse me. There's a kid knocking on my window. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're going to make a construction plane that is um, it's going to be coming out of this thing, there's two planes that we could use, and I'll show you. First, we're in 3D mode with our um, Halloween, the topper, ready to go. So first we want to go to, one second. So we want to construct a plane that is an offset plane. And it's asking me, which plane do I want to be parallel to? And I can really just click the front face of whatever it is that I have. If that one doesn't work for you, you can use those golden planes that we started with back in back when we created a sketch. And in order to get to select those golden planes, okay, you can actually turn your body, um, your solid body off by clicking the eyeball. So you could click on one of these. Now it's going to make your plane parallel to that. So you can bring it out away as far or as near as you want it to be. Okay. Um, I went ahead and measured my the diameter of my finger. And my finger is about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to move away from, um, from my object around half of that, maybe around uh, 0.45 or so inches. And we can, we can um, update that later if we need be. Okay? Don't forget to turn your, your body visibility back on. So what I just did was I created a plane that is, if you can see it, is 0.45 inches below the surface of my bat. So that's what, what I'm going to go for here. Okay? Now I just simply want to sketch on that new plane, okay, I want to sketch a circle, okay? I want to find the center line of, matter of fact, I'll sketch the center line of whatever it is that I've got. It's not going to snap right now, but that's okay. Just get it close. And that's going to be my revolve line. And after that, I'm just going to click and make a little circle um, right around here with a diameter of um, one eighth of an inch. So one slash eight. Okay. Now you can move that cir that circle wherever you want your your ring portion to go. But what's important is that you do diameter. You do diameter. You dimension that the distance from your center point to your line of rotation should be. And it's not giving me what I'm looking for here. Make sure you click both those things. That distance should be around half the width of your finger. So for me, about 0.45 or so. All right, cool. Now, if you don't see where I'm going yet, don't worry, you will. I'm gonna finish the sketch and look, now I'm going to revolve this profile around the axis right here and boom. Oh, but look, it's cutting through my, my bat. That's because the operation is cut by default. Let's make that a join. And look, I just made a little ring come down through. Now, if you, if you notice, it actually makes it go all the way up to the top, which I don't really want. So what I need to do, you might be, you might have already figured this out. I want to bring that construction plane down away from my bat just a little bit more. So I'll, I'll click OK. And then I want to go back and find that construction plane, which was right here. Okay, it's right here in my timeline. And it's also up here under construction. If you'd rather find it right there, it doesn't really matter. You can go to it either one of these ways, but what I want to do is right click it on it and we want to edit that feature. And what we're editing is we're just editing the distance away that it is. So I'm just going to bring it down about that much, just eyeballing it at this point. And look at that. It looks pretty nice from the bottom. It's flat on the top. Hey, I think we've got a winner here, folks. 
Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, you know what, before I sign off, let's do one more. I've got a more complicated model. It's supposed to be a spider. I know it looks more like an ant. I'm not a, a super good artist. Okay, but we'll do the same thing here really quickly. I'm going to construct a plane. I'm going to offset plane. I want it to be offset from the, the horizontal right here. And I'm going to come down with it uh, just about that far. Now I'm going to sketch on the new plane. And I'm going to sketch a circle. I want it to be right around here. The circle should be one eighth. And I'm going to make a line of revolution. And I'm going to dimension my one eighth circle center should be about half the width of my finger away from that line. So about 0.45. Okay, and that's all I have to do, folks. I can just go in now and I can revolve that circle around the axis of, of symmetry right there. Remember to make it a join. And when I look at it from a different point of view, it looks like it goes through right there. I want to go ahead and bring the construction plane down. I'm going to bring this construction plane down by right clicking on it and editing the feature. Now I can just bring it down as far as I need to. Just kind of do it by trial and error there. Maybe bring it down a little bit more. Edit feature, bring it down some more. That may be too far, I don't know. You know what, I think that looks pretty, maybe one more. What do you think? Bring it down just, just a tad more. There we go, I think this is gonna be fine. I like that, I like that. Okay guys, hopefully this was helpful, thanks.